Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV located in Frederick, Colorado. That's about a half an hour north of Denver. My name is Larry Vickers. As we get started, I wanted to remind everybody, not only do we sell trucks here at TransWest, but we purchase them as well. So, you know, so if you have a pickup sitting around you're trying to get rid of or a hauler, something like that, please feel free to give me a call or email me and we'll get the ball rolling and see what we can do for you guys. And as you know, the Freightliners, that's kind of a, a bread and butter to us. You know, that's really where we uh, strive and perform the best. But people forget that we do sell pickups as well and we get some really nice trade-ins in. And the one we're gonna look at today is no exception. This is a 2020 Ram 3500. The trim package is Laramie. Now, this truck has just 7,000 miles on it. That's 7,000 miles. So basically, guys, this truck is brand new. So we'll start by taking a look directly in front of the vehicle. The first thing that pops out is the big Ram logo located right here. There is a camera right underneath the A. Now, if you compare this to a 1500, things like that, you can see that that grill is a lot larger. In addition, there's air intake down here. Well, that's because the, the engine that's under that hood basically demands a lot of air movement to make it perform at an optimum level. It comes with sensors here and tow hooks here and here. So let's go ahead and take a look underneath the hood. That's the Cummins 6.7 liter engine. It offers 400 horsepower with 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. Guys, this pickup truck can flat tow. Plus, it's coupled with the Ison transmission. This truck is stock number 5U210. 818. As you can see, there's the 3500 heavy duty badge located there. This particular truck has really aggressive tires on it. So, obviously, if we get into mud, snow, something like that, a little bit of aggressive tires certainly helps. Those are BF Goodrich. 275 70 R18 tires. A couple of things to notice on the side. There's our Cummins turbo diesel and Ram right there. As we take a look inside the driver's seat, The seats are heated and cooled. Right here is where we make our adjustments for the driver. Windows, or lights, I'm sorry, right here. This adjusts the pedals. So all depending on how high or how low you need those pedals to set. This adjusts our steering wheel. Another thing we can do from here, this will collapse those mirrors and push it again and those go out. As you can see the running boards do extend and when you get out of the truck they go back in. We take a look at the back seat. That seat will come up. In addition they put this in here. And what that is for, for example, if you're hauling pets, things of that nature, you can put that down to protect the leather. Underneath here is an additional storage component located right there. 
and to get that down it simply drops down. Underneath here is our fuel and def tank. You're going to be able to get about 350 miles per one gallon of def. As you can well imagine, just 7,000 miles, not a scratch on the truck. Now let's take a view from directly behind. A couple of things to notice. There's our Ram logo. Right up here is a camera. And here in a little bit when we get inside, we'll see how that works. This truck does come with airbags. So it actually has a payload of 5,590 pounds. So those airbags make things nice in terms of leveling, not only leveling the truck out, but making it a nicer ride as we're going up and down the road. One thing Ram did do in 2020 is this logo here. As you can see, it has silver around the ends of it. So that simply dresses the truck up a little bit. It has a tow package right here. Plus right here is the lights for where we would hook up a bumper pull trailer. It comes with a soft tailgate, so that's not going to slam your hands as you're releasing it. As you can see, the inside of the bed is lined. It has a tonal cover, which is easily put up to put that back. There are also lights in the bed, one here and one on the other side. It has a BMW hitch ready to go. So determine if you want a fifth wheel or gooseneck, either one you can put that option on there. Plus tow hooks located here and on the opposite side and right here is where we will plug in lights for either fifth wheel or gooseneck trailer. If you are looking to do, take the financing option, now's a really good time to do that. I, over the last couple of weeks, I've really seen the finance department do some remarkable things in terms of interest rate. Um, Now's the time to do that, and that process is very simple. Either I can send you the direct link to fill out the credit application, or you simply go to transwest.com, click on the Finance tab, and you're able to fill all of that out right there. So it's a very simple and easy process to do. We take a look at the passenger back seat. Again, this is in here to protect the leather, plus there's a couple of cup holders there. Now these back seats are heated as well. Simply press the button there and right above that is a couple of charging ports. Now we'll crawl in and take a closer look at the inside. push button start. The first thing you're going to notice is just the size of that screen. I mean, look at that. So that makes things very, very clear and large, both during the day and nighttime driving as well. Now, right there is the backup camera. I showed you where a couple of those are located and you have a few options as well. That view or that view as well. In addition, it has cameras right here for the front and right there as well. On the side here is where we would adjust our temperature. This is for fan speed located here, or you can set it to auto so you don't have to mess with that. As we look down at the controls, heated and vented seats, 
the the steering wheel is also heated. You can do the passenger here. You can make the uh, mirror dimmer. So if we have headlights coming up behind us and kind of messing with our visibility, we can sure hit that there as well. Backup camera and cargo camera located right there. Along the side, we can adjust for our defroster, both front and rear. And if we want the air to simply circulate in the cab, we can do that as well. Now we do have the ability to simply shut the, the screen off by pushing that button from the home page as well. So a very large screen that really makes things nice. When we go to hook up a trailer, that sort of thing, that big screen there is very visible. In addition to that, it's a safety advantage as well. As we come on down right here is our trailer brake. Very easy to get to. This is the exhaust brake. So say we're right next door in the Rocky Mountains and we're coming down a hill, that's sure something we wanna to do to help slow us up, especially if we're towing a trailer. This is our tow assist right here, our parking sensor for the rear there, parking sensor for the front is right here. There's a couple of charging ports located right there. Now if we scan up here at the top, this adjusts um, the tailgate located right here, the lights right here and here. And one thing to notice about this truck, the console does come up so you can put a third person in the front seat as well. In addition, there's a storage located here, here for the change. One thing that's kind of neat about this truck, Ram really pays attention to details to the, to the utmost degree. Here is the key fob for it. As you can see, it's a leather case and you can lock and unlock it here, remote start as well. So an extremely nice trade-in that we feel very fortunate to have on the lot today. Uh, please keep in mind, not only do we sell trucks, we purchase them as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call. The cell phone number, 970-370-4067. The work extension, 303-684-3404. Feel free to email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.